get started with questions. We'll start with Eric Bailey, and then we'll go to Ryan Aber. Eric. Hey, Nick. Traditionally, the team that runs the football better in the OU wins the OU Texas game. How would you rate your run defense through three games this season? And just talk a little bit about the importance of physicality in this game on Saturday. Honestly, I do believe, you know, our run defense is doing well. You know, we have great time, you know, great moments during the game where, you know, we're really doing a good job against the run. You know, obviously last game, you know, tackling really hurt us. We're in good position, you know, all night I feel like to make plays and stop the run, but, you know, we just couldn't finish our tackling. So, you know, I feel like our, I'm really confident in our run defense this game. I feel like our tackling will definitely be there. So, yep. Thanks, Nick. Okay, Ryan Aber and then Jason Kersey. Nick, y'all have seen a lot of Sam Ellinger over the last few years. Um, when you look at him this year, what stands out to you? Maybe that, that he's doing uh, differently than in the past. And uh, just what is it that, that makes him special? No, obviously Sam's a great player. You know, last couple of years, you know, he's, he's always given us a good game. He's always, you know, far, you know, he's a really tough quarterback. And, you know, I think we're just going to have to really do a good job of, you know, getting to him, you know, making him feel pressure all day and, you know, just try to, you know, make him make bad decisions up front. Appreciate it, Nick. Yeah. Jason Kersey and then Joe Bettner. Hey, Nick, have, have you been able to, to diagnose what you think is wrong, has been wrong in the fourth quarter the last two games? Uh, Alex was just talking to us about how, you know, if those had gone better, they, they could have been wins. So I'm just wondering from your perspective, what has to change in the fourth quarter? Um, I can't really speak on, you know, anybody else on the team. But, you know, me personally, I know I missed, you know, a tackle, a big tackle in the fourth quarter. You know, that could have helped in the, in the game. But, you know, just really just finishing the all fourth quarters. You know, we're practicing it. We're preaching it. Now we just got to show on the games that we can play all four quarters, you know, not just two, not just three. So, you know, I feel like we just got to try, you know, just, you know, do all four quarters. Okay, let's go to Joe Bettner and then James Hale. Nick, I'm, I'm wondering what it was like having uh, Ronnie Perkins back on the sideline Saturday night, and just what he provided to you guys. Obviously, can't go on the field, but – as far as just an off the field leader? Yeah, Ronnie's, you know, a big part of our team, you know, in our positional group, he's the leader in our group. You know, he's there, you know, pushing us, you know, telling us what we got to do better. And, you know, it's good to have a guy like that on the sideline, you know, leader in our group to, to tell us what we're doing wrong, you know, telling us, you know, if we need more, you know, in this game, you know, telling us, you know, just, just keeping us composed and trying to get us to make plays all day long. So, you know, it's really good to have him back on the sideline. Could you could you tell how happy he was maybe to be back, you know, at a football game? Oh, yeah, he was really happy, you know, especially since he got to travel. You know, you, you can tell, you know, he's just been eager, you know, to be around us, you know. And, and, you know, I know he wanted to play really bad, but, you know, just, you know, him, you know, being there and helping us is just, you know, really big for our team. So. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to James Hale and then Barry Trammell. Nick, talk about the Sooners' pass rush up to this point. Where do you think it's at? You guys have had a couple of sacks. Isaiah had a, you know, a big sack uh, against Iowa State. Um, you know, how do you think it's going from the pass rush standpoint? Um, I can't really speak on the interior, but coming from our group, you know, I feel like it's it's been pretty well. But it obviously, it has to be better. You know, Isaiah had a huge, you know, play in that game. And, you know, obviously, you know, when we look at the film, you know, I think I feel like both of us could have made more plays and, you know, going back to all three games. So, you know, I feel like it's definitely there, but obviously we have to keep improving because, you know, we, we got to make more plays and like that. And, you know, it's going to help our defense. So I, I definitely feel like it can be better. Thanks, Nick. Barry Trammell and then Bob Prisbillo. Yeah, Nick, how much have you in the past, how much you, have you enjoyed playing in this game? at the Cotton Bowl. How unique is it? And how strange do you think it's going to be this year with all the, with all the changes because of the pandemic? Uh, me personally, you know, coming from Florida, you know, I didn't really know much about, you know, Texas, you know, OU rivalry and, you know, just how much you know, it, it was important to, to both the fan bases, both schools, you know, both programs. And also I actually, you know, experienced it myself, you know, it actually filled a lot of hatred for me for the other team and, uh, and burn orange. So, you know, it just, it means a lot around this place. And, you know, I definitely, you know, want to get this game, you know, just for everybody and, you know, just how much it means for our program. So it's a really huge game. And as far as the pandemic goes, 
the world can be falling down and, you know, both teams, you know, they're still going to want to, you know, beat each other. So, you know, it's going to be a really important game for us. Okay, we'll go to Bob Prisbillo and then Brandon Drum. Bob, leave us. Don't see him. Okay, Brandon Drum. Brandon, I think you're muted. Um, I, Nick, you uh, you got in the backfield uh, quite a bit this past uh, this past week. Uh, whenever the quarterback rolls out to the right and you're chasing, how frustrating is that that you can't seem to uh, finish those plays quite a bit because of the mobility and all that stuff. And then I guess there's no pass rush from that opposite side as well. How frustrating does that get? Right? Tiring, all that stuff, and uh, not being able to also wrap up in the backfield. Of, the, does the frustration start to mount? Does it start to, I guess, mentally, does it start to wear on you guys? Uh, I don't think so. I feel like it actually makes us more hungrier because, you know, up front, you know, we're always, you know, dying to try to make plays. So, you know, when we miss one, you know, it's like, damn, like, you no, know, now I got to go come back and I want to, you know, try and get it even harder this time. So, you know, obviously it's a little frustrating that, you know, that we couldn't make the play, but, you know, it's definitely making us more hungry to try and keep making plays like all throughout the game and, you know, try to get them down. So. Yeah, let's go to Keegan Renault and then Parker Thune. Yeah, Nick, we obviously have seen what Eric Stryker um, and Oboe, guys that have lived on the edge for Oklahoma in the past and the impact that they've had on games. You, you think you can be that guy for Oklahoma in this defense, the, the, a guy that can just line up and go be able to take over a football game? Obviously, you know, I still have a lot of work to do as a pass rusher, but, you know, I definitely see – I can see myself being in that type of role, you know, a guy that can just go get the quarterback. But like I said, I still have a long way to go to, you know, live up to those guys' expectations. But, you know, I definitely feel like I can be one of those type of guys. Parker Thune and then John Hoover. Yeah, Nick, you guys sacked Sam Ellinger nine times last year in this game. Uh, thus far in Big 12 play this year, you all only have two sacks total. So – uh, what do you guys have to do this week in practice leading up into the game, especially going up against a quarterback, the quality of Ellinger, in order to put yourself in position to be able to have that kind of a performance again? Well, obviously, we have to do a good job of collapsing the pocket. You know, we don't want to give him a lot of time to throw the ball because, you know, he makes a lot of great decisions with the football. He's a great quarterback. So, you know, up front, you know, we just want to try and get to him all day, you know, fluster him, try to make him get some, make, uh, make some bad decisions and, you know, Obviously, nice acts would be nice like last year, but you know that's really the goal. So we're gonna try to get after him a lot this um, this game, and you know, see how it goes. And John Hoover. Hey Nick, um, Alex, we're trying to break down what's been going on in the fourth quarter, and and Alex actually used the phrase for a number of reasons. He talked about fitness. He talked about guys' focus. Our guys playing too tight. Um, I looked at the scoring drives of the five scoring drives. You had like. 13 yards, 29 yards, 38 yards, and 38 yards. Those are not like long, you know, hard scoring drives. What do you think is uh, – I think one was a punt blocked, one was a, you know, kickoff return, one was a fumble. So it's not like people are just driving it down your throat in the fourth quarter. What do you think about that? How do you kind of assess those two things, those two aspects? I mean, like Coach Grinch always says, like, we, we don't have no room to evaluate. We can get the ball at the one-yard line every drive. You know, we got to find ways to get stops. And, you know, unfortunately, last game, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. And, you know, Kansas State, we couldn't do it. So, you know, it's just about finding a way, you know, to want to make plays, you know, and just getting guys out of the end zone so we can help our offense out. Are you guys do – you, do you feel fit in the fourth quarter? I mean, since he talked about fitness and all that, is that a problem? Oh, yeah. Coach Wiley, he's, he's been, you know, he, he worked us all summer, you know, and I feel like our defense is just in great shape. It just comes down to, you know, making plays and doing our job.